Hello everyone, this is Chen Lin from National University of Singapore. Today we will demo our work titled for based immutable temper evidence storage substrate for branchable applications. Here is the motivation. In correlative data analytics, data are generated in the cloud and be used by multiple departments to perform all kinds of analytics. Basically, each individual will create their isolated view to perform the data manipulation, including insertion of records, removing irrelevant records, search on certain fields, and updates. During this piece procedure, there are several pain points. First, the same data set is used by multiple independent users. This not only incur redundant storage, but also the bandwidth spent on checking out a large data set. And this is not going to scale for large scale uh, collaborative data analytics on the same data set. Second is about data redundancy. User may upload the same data set or subset of the data set independently. Even the storage is not that expensive nowadays, the solution is not going to scale for the massive, massive collaborative data, data analytics. Data deprecation is quite necessary in this case, and it's already well studied for file systems, but, on, but it's on the file granule. For example, you can calculate the MD5 or SHA128 on the file as a signature, and use this signature to do the deduplication. However, the solution does not applicable to database cases. You can imagine that if we have the table and the table is materialized as a file, if we update one single record, the file will have different signatures. If we want to keep track of all the versions of the updates, the solution is not going to scale. In that sense, we need to support page level deprecation in database. But this is quite challenging. For example, for B plus three, different insertion order of records of the same data set may result in different physical placement of data. This make, makes the data deprecation very hard to achieve. And the third one is about data versioning, branching, and provenance. Most of the application leave this epic uh, effort to the application layer for development. And this is not going to be across application uh, applicable. And we want to use the protocol to support these properties and, good is a, and Git is a good candidate, but it's not designed for database applications. And to this end, we propose our system called for base to integrate several features as mentioned to adjust the pain points. First is the Merkle deck to provide versioning and temper evidence. The second is about the Siri index, which is a new kind of index to support data deprecation very effectively and efficient. The third one is to integrate the Git semantics to support collaboration workflows. And for base in integrating these features to provide a gift for data in database. And also this, or, uh, the solution is applicable to blockchains because in the storage of the layer of the blockchain, uh, data are branchable. The core design of the for base is the Siri index. Siri is for structural environment with usable index. There are three important properties. First, structural environment. This means that the internal representation of the storage layout is exclusively determined by the content rather than by the size of the pages. This is important for the deduplication. Second, it's a recursively identical. This requires the update index can reuse most of the existing pages rather than create their new ones. The third one is universally reusable. Any page when it's reused is not exclusively belong to any instance or objects of the data. So is in other words, the data reusability is object agnostic. And in four base, 
we have implemented a theory in depth called the pattern oriented split tree or post tree. Post tree can perform a very effective and efficient content based page level deduplication. Uh, at the underlying layer, the post tree is a probabilistic balance tree and it supports very efficient query. Data are chunked based on the content and it not necessary to, to be balanced. And the post tree also implement the native Merkle tree to provide temple evidence. And as I said before, post tree is content determined structure. This can support very effective deduplication. With the technology above, we implement the fault base and show in the architecture. In the underlying layer is the chunk storage, which uses the post tree to provide the deprecation and immutability. And for base is a distributed one, uh, so, and with the shared thing design. On top of that is the Git representation to provide the versioning and branch management. And we provide a rich set of for based APIs to support different kinds of data types, including the primitives, include, such as the string, integer, boolean, and also the chunkable types, uh, such as the collection types of set, map, list. And we also provide the semantic layers on the top and building an application based on these layers. In this demo, we use the RESTful API of FortBase to construct a web-based UI to demonstrate the data exploration. FortBase API provides a rich set of, uh, of functions, including the input-output, management of the data create and maintenance, query on the data, and also the branch management. At the underlying storage, for base implement the key value store as the uh, basic store. And on top of that, we can support semantic slide column store and also the binary based data set management. Here's the demo. We want to show how for base support collaborative data processing. We illustrate the workflow here. Basically, we have a job proposal to support uh, data as the master branch and different vendors will use this data to create their own branch as an isolated views. And the branch creation just take a few seconds. Each vendor will provide data processing on their own methods and, and create a new record by uh, storing the processing outcome. Eventually, the job proposal will perform a merge and, and to result based on the difference of the, the outcomes and per further perform a differential query to judge the credits generated by different vendors. Our demo is also online. Again, you can check with this link. Here is the demo. We will show two scenarios, and this fault base is uh, constructed based on the uh, APIs we support. The first scenario is the fine guarantee and automatic data deprecation. Notice that uh, on the top bar, the zero byte means the database now is empty. And you create a data set called data set one in fault base and upload a sample CS viable, CF, CSV file of 338 kilobytes. This file is a synthetic one and contains 2,000 lines of text. We just drag the file to the box and commit it. Once successful commit, you can notice that the storage size changed from 0 to 338 kilobytes. After that, 
we want to make some change of another file uh, to see the deprecation. First, we copy our data of the, or copy the same data and change some line of request with some random changes. Then we upload this modified file as another data set called the data set two. Without data duplication, we expect the data size will be double. But I guess it can, can be see the data only increased by 0 0.5 kilobytes. In the second scenario, we want to demo the branching fast differential query and temper evidence. First, we have the data set it one upload it, and we want to create a new branch called the branch LQ based on the master branch. The branch creation just take less than one, less than one second. And we have not made any edit to the new branch. So the second branch has the same data entry as the master one. Now we can inspect the data of the new branch by calling the get operation. And we can see that uh, the data are loaded now we can randomly pick a data entry to change its value. First, we inspect the value of the selected record. Then we change the value of the record by calling the put operation. Just make some random change on the views. Later, we will see the difference. Once committed, the change to the data base uh, is marginal. Now we do a different qu differential query based on the master branch and the branch LQ we created. And we, the differential query is very fast and get a pre precise query response on that record. Here are the changes. Along with each data updates and put operations, a unique data version is generated and we can construct a, a data evolution graph, well, quite similar to the Git. If uh, you are interested in the full technology of Forbase, please refer to our RealDB 2018 paper. And that's all, thank you for your attention. And most importantly, stay safe and healthy during this period.